Hello everybody. So this is a basic, basic first time intro to Minicam for those who are unsure what to do once you purchase Minicam, how to get it on your computer, how to get it to work in your classroom. So I'm going to take us back to basics for the new mini cameras, especially for those that are using it in their VIP kid classroom. All right. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do when you get started with Minicam is decide which version of Minicam you'd like. Now, if you're a member of the Six Apple Club in VIP Kit, you can get a discount on the studio version of Minicam. So first you need to decide what is it that you are going to do with Minicam. Um, if you just want to do the most basic, basic usage of Minicam, you can use the free version of it. It'll give you two feeds and it is a bit restricted as to what you can do. You really can't move things around the screen. I tend to find myself more frustrated with the free version, um, but you know what? Um, for many people, it does you know just enough what you need, um, but I'm going to really start basically at the standard version and go up from there. So if we look at the different versions um, and I go into just pricing, we see that there's the standard, the studio and the premium. The standard does give you picture in picture. It gives you four feeds. We'll talk about feeds, but that basically is four different kind of screens you can change to uh, while you're teaching. Uh, you can see right down here, these are what feeds are called. Um, they're called feeds or they're called presets, okay? Um, the next one, or here it says video sources, but we um, interchangeably use feeds and presets. The next one is $59. This one is the studio version. This gives you 12 feeds and this will allow you to green screen. If you decide that you do want to use chroma key, you want to do all the really cool things of green screening and you have a computer that you feel is capable of it, then you can go ahead with the studio version. It also allows you to have it on two devices. So if you want to put one on a laptop and one on your desktop, um, maybe you travel and still want to be able to take it with you, that could be a good resource. The final one is the premium, very similar to the studio version. The difference is it will give you 24 feeds and they also say that they give you uh, priority support when it comes to asking for help from Minicam. So the first step, just decide what is it you want to do to uh, download Minicam. Sorry, what do you want to do on Minicam and choose. You simply will click on buy now and it'll have you set up an account with their user ID, which is your email and a password. Just remember what user ID and password you used. Then basically just like installing anything else on your computer, you wait for it to go ahead and download, install on your computer and open the file. You will then have an icon that looks like this over here on my computer. And this is just called Minicam. There's the icon. Uh, once you start running it, you can also find it here on your tray. This shows you that Minicam is running. All your presets at this point will be blank, but you will have Minicam on your computer, okay? The second step, once you put Minicam on your computer, is clicking on the gear and going into your account. I'm just not gonna go in there now just because it'll show my personal email address. But you're gonna go into your account and you're going to log in. You need to log in in Minicam so it can find your subscription. And then you go into subscriptions and you'll simply flip the little switch, the little toggle, and it'll turn on your subscription. So for example, if you bought the studio version uh, and you click on this toggle, turn on studio, it'll then open up 12 of those feeds for you. Um, if you had done premium, it'll open up 24. If you did standard, it'll open up four. And that's how you have Minicam on your computer, okay? The first thing that you're going to want to do is to make it where you appear on the screen. We're going to go into adding digital effects in another video. But I just want to get you started on getting you on the screen. All right. And that is simple enough. Let me go ahead and delete this preset right now um, so I could show you what we would do. You would pick a preset. Usually preset number one will be your first one, one or two. Um, you just do a preset and my mm, cat just jumped on the desk. You click on this plus sign and you're going to choose your web camera, okay? Right now I use an HD Pro web, uh, webcam, the C920, it's a Logitech C920, and I click on that, and here I am, I'm on the screen. Now I'm not going to go ahead and erase my green screen at this moment, because if you're not green screening, this is what you would have, it'd be you and your background, okay? And we'll go into adding effects on a whole other video, but right now I just first wanna get you <laughs> getting started with Minicamp. So how does it work in your classroom? Well, for proprietary reasons, I can't really show you a real VIP kid classroom uh, or a GoGo kid classroom or any other classroom that you use. So I just created a classroom right here. <laughs> so we're gonna pretend that this is a classroom with your student, okay? And here is where your adorable little student is. Here is your slides. Sometimes classrooms are set up a little bit different where you're uh, over here and your, uh, I'm sorry, you're over here and your student's up here, but 
Anyway, here's your student and here you are. And here's this little gear. Now what you would do, oh, sorry, my cat just jumped. What you would do is select this gear. You'll go into video and you're going to choose video or camera and you're going to choose many cam as your camera. Okay, once you've chosen ManyCam as your camera, then your image, exactly as you see right here, will show up right here, okay? It doesn't show up anywhere else. It doesn't show up suddenly here. It's not replacing your slides. The only time your image will go from here to here is if you choose that flipping feature in your classroom. But otherwise, your image is going to be right up here and it's going to remain up here. Now, no matter what feed, and again, we'll talk about setting up feeds later on another one, but no matter what feed you choose, it doesn't matter. This image here, this box, will always show whatever you have here in this box. So if I have a welcome slide before my class even starts, that is what's going to show in this box right here. You know, if I have this of me right now with my green screen, that's what's going to show in this box. Nothing changes. You've chosen ManyCam as your camera. Anything I add that shows up here will show up here. So for example, if I do add a star, now suddenly this is going to be, this image right here is literally going to be, you know, the image you see right here. Just what's in this blue box. Your students will not see anything else. They will not see any of this. They will not see any of this. They will not see any of this. They will only see what is in this box. So to them, they have no idea how your image is changing here, but it's changing, okay? So I just wanted to clarify that, clarify that for you. We have our settings at 480 DPI, uh, 480, sorry, P, and that allows it to fit nicely and fill up the box here without any sort of bar at the top and at the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna touch in on other things, no worries, but anyway, I just wanted to show you how to get started at least getting Minicam into your classroom. Now, for the very first times you're using Minicam, you don't even have to worry about using effects. Start basic. Just start where the very first thing you do is get your camera to be working in the classroom and get this to be the many cam camera. So maybe your very first class is you're still teaching without any digital props, but it's using your many cam camera and you could see that it's working great. Then you'll slowly get into using more and more amazing digital props. I'm going to help you with that. But in the meantime, I really hope this helps you get started. Thank you so much for watching as always. Take care. Bye.